now that the carrier bearing is fixed it is either i think vapor locking or the fuel filter is clogged again from the pump gas and uh i guess this video is going to be about changing the fuel filter let's get to it Here is the fuel filter. It's on the driver side front in the frame rail. And uh, you're gonna need these clips to take it off. Or you could find some way to take it off without them. I think I did that before, but I forgot how I did it. But those will help a lot. And now I'm gonna start taking it off. And there's the carrier bearing it's done holding up it's all back together and make sure you don't get it in your eye <sighs> oh crap Dang it. This is a part where you're gonna need these clips for right here. Just to push it in here to get it to release. Make sure you don't stab yourself. Don't use a knife for this, use a screwdriver. But I'm stupid, so I'm just gonna stab myself in the process. Once you lose your patience with this Mickey Mouse piece of crap, finally get a pair of channel locks and use your bad arm to pull on it. If you can ever get it off. If you ever get this clip to go in, it'll probably go much easier. Finally! There's those stupid tabs you have to push down or out with those plastic things to get it to snap off. Got the new fuel filter. There's the part number. This is a 1996 Ford Ranger uh, 3.0 V6. There's the old one. Now I'm going to put the new one on. Make sure you have the arrow pointing that way towards the front. It just clicks in. I don't know if you heard that click. And now this side. Take one of these clips. And put it in there like that. And now, that is how you change a fuel filter on a 96 Ford Ranger. Took a little bit to get it started because all the fuel drained out of the lines when I changed it, but it's 
doing good now. I'm gonna go take it for a test drive. If this don't solve the issue, I'm gonna put a new fuel pump in it. Go for a test drive.